Let's continue making our simple contact form, or at least designing it. So we have a field here for the name. Let's add another field for the person's email address. So we'll make it for email. Let's call it your email, like that. Let's put an input here and give it the ID of email. So we've created a place for them to put their email and we've associated the label and the input together. Let's go refresh that like this, so there we go. And if we go back to our code now, you'll see, well, in the browser, you'll see that they're side by side. Really, I would like them uh, stacked on top of each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to surround them in divs like this. And this will allow me a little bit more styling control and it will give me the sort of stacking that I'm looking for like this. Let's do another one here. Let's do a div for, uh, let's call this one subject. Now, before I move on here, I could just put an input like this and make my subject, but I want to be more accurate uh, with my input types. So before I do a subject one, look at this one right here. We're looking for an email. So inside of here, we can actually put another attribute called type and specify what kind of information we're looking for. So we are in this situation looking for an email address. Up here, we don't have to put type because we're just looking for standard old text. But this one here, we're looking for an email address. There's a bunch of other types that we're going to look at in another video. But right now, I want to give people the option to choose between maybe three different subjects. So I could use something called a select item. So a select input here, like this, I'm still going to give it an ID for the label association. And with the select, I can create different options. So my options could be uh, just saying hi, or want to talk about dinosaurs. Uh, let's do another one here. I don't know. So I've got a select input here with three different options inside it. And if I go refresh this now, you'll see that my subject is actually one of these drop downs and it's got the three different things that I want inside it. You can pick between them. You'll notice that the email address doesn't look any different, but it still uh, is only going to allow us to type an email address into this field. So we've got a whole bunch of different input types that we can do. One other thing we can do for our inputs is on the email address as an example, we can create sort of a, an example of what people should put in that field. So you're at email.com, like that. So these sort of placeholder examples, when you click in, they disappear as soon as you start typing like this. But if you delete it, they come back. Now, placeholders are no substitute for labels. Labels must always be on your form. But you can use placeholders to just sort of provide an example of what you want them to put into their field. So one more input we could do for our contact form here is something called a text area. So this is for the message of the email message that they're sending here. So let's do text area, id equals message. Now the text area you can see is a big input field like this. It allows you to hit enter within it. You can also size it. So the difference between a standard input and a text area is in a standard input, if you hit enter like that, it submits the form. But in a text area, if you hit enter, it just creates a new line. So text areas are for lots of big amounts of text where inputs like this, uh, they're just for small single lines of text. So we have a very basic contact form right here set up. And when you click submit, it goes to another page. Uh, all we want to do is sort of style it up and make it a look a little bit better.